Hey guys, so I'm back with the Frugal Friday for today. And today I've got frugal, affordable uh, drugstore retinoid products that are all affordable. Uh, some of these are as low as I think $8. So some of them are a really good deal. And uh, I think these are all fragrance free. So they're all more sensitive skin friendly. And I got a couple newbies in this list too. So uh, first off, I'm gonna start with an oldie but goodie. The Good Molecules Retinol Night Oil. It comes in at about $12, very affordable. Uh, short ingredient list, it's got obviously 1% retinol in here. It also contains rosehip oil and I think uh, vitamin E, it's really nice. If uh, I can consider it kind of an alternative to the Sunday Riley Luna Night Oil, uh, this one's much more affordable and much more effective and much more sensitive skin friendly. So this one is worth checking out. Really nice product. Good Molecules makes great stuff. And that is undeniable fact. And they'll show up one other time on this list. Uh, and retinol is great for so many things. Anti-aging. It's great for acne prone skin. It's great for uh, blackheads. It's great for hyperpigmentation, dark spots. And it's good for wrinkles and anti-aging as well. Did I mention that? We love that. Uh, and retinol, in my opinion, is best if you can use it in your evening routine and daytime routine. You can focus on antioxidants and sun protection and at night focus on repairing, regenerating. Okay, next up, the Hero Rescue Retinol uh, Nighttime Renewing Cream. It's about $22 and it's got 0.75% uh, encapsulated retinol. Encapsulated retinol might be great for very sensitive skin, so if you're, you have skin that's sensitive, encapsulated products or actives might be a good thing. Uh, the less sensitive your skin is, the more experienced you are with retinol, then I get away from the encapsulation if you can, because I think it sometimes ends up being a barrier, sometimes more than it does help. But anyway, that's debatable. So um, so we've got that. We've also got squalane, resveratrol, uh, CoQ10. It's got a really nice texture to it as well. And I love the packaging for this. There we go. Very nice. Uh, creamy texture works great evening routine after cleansing toning and serums so this one is certainly worth checking out and pretty affordable and the bottle is just over an ounce so it's pretty large okay next up coming at $21 I've got the CeraVe retinol resurfacing serum so CeraVe has two different retinol products I tend to like this one a little bit more it's got some nice uh, pro nice ingredients for uh, hyperpigmentation in here and then we've got retinol obviously not exactly sure. I don't think they've announced the percentage of retinol in here. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think so. Uh, then we've got ceramides. Obviously, it's CeraVe. Uh, we've got licorice root, and there's some other brightening ingredients and niacinamide and things like that in here. It's really nice. Pretty affordable. A little bit goes a long way. Overall, nice product. Their other retinol is good, too. I just prefer this one uh, specifically because of my hyperpigmentation issues. Okay, next up, I want to say this is going to be the most expensive one on the list, and it is. So keep that in mind. It's the Coco Kind Beginner Retinol Gel, uh, 26 bucks. Uh, comes in a metal tube, which I have a love-hate relationship with because I love the packaging for metal. Keeps the product in there safe, away from light and air and things like that. But then it gets kind of messy when you're done using it because it kind of, a lot of times it keeps spilling out or whatever, or spewing out. So just hardly squeeze it at all, because if you squeeze it too much, it'll end up uh, becoming a mess. So there we go with that. So this one's kind of unique. There's another product I'll mention that's kind of similar in a few ways, but in here we've got, uh, I think it was 0.5% uh, or 0.25% time-released retinol, 0.25% uh, grand active retinoid, and then 0.5% retinol. And then for some nice soothing ingredients, it also contains centella and elantin, which are great for soothing skin. No fragrance in here. I like the different retinol ingredients instead of just maybe, you know, especially with products that we rely on like the, uh, the grand active retinoids. Uh, sometimes those can be really, really gentle. So I like the combination of a different types of vitamin A or retinoids in here. So, uh, which is, I think the biggest flaw with the Sunday Riley Luna oil, it re relies solely on hydro uh, HPR retinol, which it's debatable how effective it is. Okay, next up, another uh, Good Molecules product. Their Gentle Retinol Cream is eight bucks. It's a deal. Uh, so in this one, we've got 0.1% retinol. We've got Bakuchiol, 
There's a lantern and grapeseed oil, which makes it super hydrating. I believe this is one I repurchased, and this one also comes in the aluminum tube, which is a most professional uh, prescription strength retinoids and tretinoin comes in metal. Like my uh, Altrino comes in a metal tube. But anyway, I have a love-hate relationship with this one. I've been trying to finish this one up, but every time I open this, I end up just too much comes out and it makes a mess and it's expensive, so it feels like a waste. So anyway, okay, that was just a side rant. So anyway, eight bucks worth checking out. Okay, this is probably gonna be the best deal in terms of price and size. Uh, that's the Gold Bond Age Renew uh, Retinol Face and Body Lotion. You can use this on your face or your body or both. And uh, the Gold Bond products are few, there's a lot of products that are face and body and typically when they say that, they go on my body, not my face, but the retinol, uh, gold, the gold bond type products, I will certainly use body and face because it's not full of a ton of pore clogging ingredients. So in here, uh, it's 12 bucks. Uh, we've got retinol, shea butter, squalane, vitamin E. Uh, what else do we have? Mac macadamia oil, jojoba esters, uh, lots of good stuff. I'm trying to see if they mention the percentage of retinol. I have a feeling it's uh, probably, I would say like, 0.05% maybe or even a little bit less because it's meant to be used all over. If we we're super strong retinol, people would be getting irritations and sensitive air like between the corner of your elbows and things. If it was super strong, people would have issues with it. So it's probably very, very weak, but it's still got the retinol in there. So it may, might be a good beginner one as well. Okay, next up, and then I've got one runner up. Uh, the Verst Press Restart Gentle Retinol Serum, 21 bucks. This one's got a really nice ingredient list, and this is one of the few ones I've repurchased. Typically, I'm now on Eltrino prescription, and it's pretty strong, but I still, from time to time, use these uh, if my skin is sensitive or dry, or if I'm testing something out. Anyway, so in here we've got retinol, bakuchiel, rosehip oil, sea buckthorn oil, and aloe, as well as a ton of other goodies. It's wonderful. They also have a jumbo size of it, so if you end up really liking it, they've got one that's two ounces, so it becomes a little bit more uh, efficient and affordable, so this one really wonderful. And then last but not least, one of the Hiram products. Uh, this one's technically, like the Inky List, I wouldn't consider a drugstore brand, but this one is actually uh, sold at drugstores now, so it's kind of more of a drugstore type product, although it launched at Sephora. Uh, and it's pretty affordable, and it's a nice gentle one, and it's also got algae in there, specifically rainbow algae, which all algaes are really, well, not all of them, but the ones that are used in skincare are really great for protecting your skin, and you'll see a lot of times algae used in sunscreens because it actually helps soak up UV rays and helps prevent UV damage. So seeing a night serum is nice too, but typically you see algae a lot in sunscreens and it's in a lot of products. So uh, anyway, so they're really good at soaking up UV rays and protecting your skin. So in my opinion, this one's really nice and worth checking out as well. So um, anyway, so these are my current favorite affordable frugal drugstore retinoid products. And you can get them all the way from the uh, Good Molecules one that's... Uh, 1% all the way down to something super gentle like the, the Gold Bond. So it's nice to have some options depending on how sensitive your skin is or if you're new to retinoids uh, and different formulas, oils, lotions, serums, creams, things like that. So um, anyway, uh, interesting from you guys, if you have any uh, favorite drugstore retinol products that are super affordable, uh, leave a comment and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye guys.